Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're doing my second video with my friend P. Um, I'm going to list her channel. Please be sure to check her out, subscribe, leave her some love, and I'm telling you guys you're gonna love her. She's super sweet, super smart, and has a lot of knowledge on both high-end and drugstore makeup. So this is my take on an evening or a night look. I was not really sure where this is going, but I have to say I really do like the way it turned out. I think it's edgy and there's something about it that makes me think like boho. I think it's maybe the, the colors, I don't know. But I really love the way that it turned out. So if you guys wanna see how I got this look, let's go. All right guys, so I'm gonna be doing my Natasha Denona bronze evening look and again this is in collaboration with my friend Prissy I'm gonna link her channel so you guys check her out I love her and she and I decided to do an evening and a day look using this palette so I have on my face the born this way matte foundation I'm gonna be doing a review for you guys I'm actually wearing it again to make sure I have my thoughts in line and in order for you guys and um, on my lids I use the MAC Lane Low Paint Pot. I'm going to start off by taking the shade Ridge, which is this shade here, and I'm going to use this with a MAC 224. This is an old school 224. This is such a pretty color. I've only ever used this like on top of one of the lighter shades, but I wanted to go in with something that's a little darker. And I love it. It's a beautiful like caramel shade. I hate that this eyebrow never blends out, this eyebrow, this eye never blends out evenly because I have a droopy lid. Alright guys, so this is what I came up with. I like the way it looks. It's not... To be honest with you guys, I don't know what I had in mind. <laughs> but I'm going to go in with Deep deep Dive, which is this shade here. It's a deep purpley shade, and I'm going to use a Refer 13. And I'm just going to use this to pack the color and then also just to really carve out the shape of my wing. This color is so pigmented, it's so good. Just wanna make sure that I don't take it in further than I have to. Yeah. And then obviously you guys don't have to follow the same shape. I'm gonna take my 224 and just blend those edges. You guys can do whatever you want. I just really wanted to play with the color. I'm going to use um, Rotom, which is this sparkly shade. And I'm going to use this with my finger. I am pressing this all over the lid. I know it's crazy, right? That you, this is a color I have underneath the coppery shade. Then I took True Bronze and I used it with a wet flat brush and I'm just going to layer this shade on top of Rotom. I literally just thought Rotom rides with I'm not gonna say it because I know some of you guys have kids around you, especially of your moms. I know what that's like, so I won't go there. But you know what, I'm, what it rhymes with, right? I'm gonna use my finger just to really pack this on. I actually think I like the way it looks better wet and with my finger. So I'm gonna actually Deepen this up. You know, when I started doing this color and this 
look. I'm like, oh, I don't like it already. And something said, just don't give up. Just keep working at it and see where it goes. And worst case scenario is you take it off and you, um, you know, you can decide to either film or not film. And I'm glad that I kept on with it because I'm really pleased with how it looks. My eye keeps jumping, it's driving me nuts. I'm gonna take my Evian water and spray a MAC 210. And I'm going to take Rotom, which is a purple shade. And I'm going to use this just to really carve out my crease or define my crease. That looks cool. It looks really cool. So I'm going to take the flat brush and I'm just going to use that to get really close to the edge of that crease. And then to soften this, I'm going to take a little bit of my foundation and with my finger just pat in what I've lifted. You could use your concealer if you wanted to, but I don't want this to be bright. I just wanted to blend back into what I had on. And I'm just softening that edge. And I'm just going to take whatever's left on my brush that I used to apply that deep shade and I'm just blending the purple shade into that gold or copper. Ooh, I love the way that this turned out. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take my Inglot gel liner. I'm gonna go ahead and do a wing liner, come back with mascara on, and we'll finish the rest of this look. All right, guys. So I'm going to go back into the palette and take Deep Dive, which is the darkest shade that I have on, and I'm going to use this to line the lower lash line being that this is an evening look, I'm just gonna add a little bit more drama to it. Using the same brush, I'm going to take Silk, which is this shade down here. And I am going to just pop this in the inner corner. So I'm going to take an old school highlighter. This is a Dior Shimmer 002. Man, how I loved this guy. I'm going to take a fan brush and mix all of them together and just pop it. My cheek. Thumbs up if you guys remember this guy. This thing has been around forever. You can't get it anymore now they have new highlighters but this was the jam back in the day for my bronzer i'm going to take the cover effects bronzer i know <laughs> and i'm going to go in with the matte shade it's been a while since i used this guy but i saw it and i'm like you know i really like you and i do it's a really good bronzer but you guys know that right now, the Gucci and the Charlotte Tilbury are my babies. I love them. Isn't it? That's just how life is, right? Well, I shouldn't even say life. How the makeup community is working right now. You, there's just so much product out there. And um, you never really have a chance to love something. Like fully love something. Like back in the day. I can think of some products that I used to go through often and would replace and now it's rare that I go through something but I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret I am putting myself on a restriction so I will allow myself to buy one item a month and it has to be something like pretty special not like a product that I um, that I already have, you know, or like something like it has to be something that's like really special. And um, I 
am not going to be working for Sephora anymore. I'm actually resigning. Um, you know, I just, with COVID and everything that's going on, I don't feel comfortable going back. And, you know, if, if real, if sales and retail is your main source of income, you don't have a choice, right? You, you have to go back. But I'm blessed enough to where I, I don't, rely on Sephora as my main source of income. So I'm in a position where I can say I'm not going to put myself at risk. So I knew that um, it was a possibility, which is why you guys saw me call so much because I was really trying to just replenish. And um, yeah, I'm not going back. <laughs> so no more discount. <laughs> And mama has to put herself on a tight budget. For my blush, I'm gonna take Stereo Rose by MAC. This is limited edition and it hasn't been released in a minute. Um, but again, I am going through my stuff and just rediscovering things and playing with things and just loving what I have. And that's part of why I'm really restricting myself is because while I was having to go through my stuff to see what I needed to replenish. I have so much stuff, guys. I am blessed to say that I have so much, but I have so much stuff that I don't need anything else. And being that, you know, I, you know, love doing YouTube and it's my hobby, I can't see myself fully, you know, pulling away from purchasing anything. Um, I'm gonna use this color here from this MAC palette. I want something that's a little bit brighter. And I, you know, I still wanna show you guys new things, but I also have to be conscientious of the fact that I have a lot. I'm gonna use this Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Spray. So I am a working freelance artist, and I've said that before, but I do get a lot of discounts on makeup brands. So I can purchase things, um at a discounted price but i have so much stuff guys like i just need to go through my stuff and rediscover things and um you know love what i have and not add things because i want them add them because i need them um i just kind of have to reevaluate my makeup problem <laughs> So here is the final look. For my lips, I use Pat McGrath Contour. I highly recommend this lip pencil to you guys. It is amazing. And I used one of my favorite lipsticks by Lisa Aldridge in the color Velvet Muse. It is just such a beautiful, perfect, rosy nude. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button. I do upload three videos a week and I don't want you to miss any of them. Also make sure to subscribe to P's channel. She's amazing. You guys are going to love her. She is one of my favorite people. Make sure to stop by her channel and drop her a line. Let her know that you're coming from my channel. Like this video and leave a comment down below letting me know what your thoughts are on this look. Would you wear it? Would you have rather had me wear a bold lip? What do you think? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.